Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. Today we're going to talk about a little bug that I found with Magic Samplitude Pro X5 while uh, customizing some buttons on your controller. Uh, you might not live the same problem as I do. Uh, I'm running uh, Pro X4 and Pro X5 at the same time. That might be a reason, I don't know. If you do live the problem, if you found a better solution than me, please put it in the comments. Before we go, I just want to thank every person that did it, subscribe, and uh, everyone that uh, come here and listen to my videos. I'm very grateful. If you saw recently, my uh, channel became monetized. Of course, I'm not asking you to uh, go to Patreons. I'm not selling any merch. Uh, sadly, you will see some ads that you can skip, of course. Uh, the reason why I decided to monetize the channel is first because the uh, algorithm of YouTube will promote uh, channels that are monetized before the others and the small amount of money that might come back to me for this will be reinvested in the channel. So I'll let you know uh, when I receive the first check if I do. Uh, anyway, so here's my workaround. Let's dive in right away. Okay, here's the deal. Hit Y. Go into hardware controllers. Remove the controller and add a new one. We're going to use the factory default Mackie control for our test. And we're going to select the right MIDI input and output interfaces. Hit apply, then OK. Go back, hit Y, hardware controller, and go into customize controllers. If you touch any button of your controller, if there's a function assigned to it, uh, it will go directly to that function. So let's start with one button, this one. So uh, it went directly to it, but that's not what I want the button to do. So I'm gonna change the action. One function that I use often is uh, the punch and I need a punch in and a punch out. So that's why I'm adding this one. And that was the start of the punch and we need the end. So I'm gonna touch the other button that I wanna use and nothing's happened. So that means that there's no function assigned to that button on my controller. So I'm gonna hit MIDI learn, hit the button again. There we go, it will create a new control and I will assign the action that I want the button to do. And like this. And we will hit apply. So remember this is uh, control 131, set and marker, and the other one was 93 set start marker apply okay and let's test it button one button two see punch in and punch out uh let's uh, save it to another name so right back to hardware controller save as test one okay record Apply, okay. Then if I close, oh, let's test it again. Yep, still working. So if I close uh, simply two, don't save, and go back and open the same project. If I do a selection, the buttons again. Nope, nothing's happened. Let's go into the controller settings, customize. Remember 132? 
not there anymore. And if we go to 93, assign track. So this means that uh, both controls are gone. If you delete one, uh, the numbers will uh, replace themselves and uh, keep the numeric order. So, uh, what if we um, go back to what we saved? Remove, yes. Uh, add new and test one. Choose the right MIDI input and outputs. Apply. If we hit the buttons again, no, nothing works. So it seems that um, all the customizations aren't uh, retained, at least for that kind of function. Okay, so maybe other functions will uh, will be kept in memory. I don't know. So the work around that I found was to go back to X4. open any project and if we go into the controls remove and we add a new one victory preset um, Mackie control All right apply We go back and again we do the changes that we needed to do so the first button start okay second button does nothing And okay, and there's another function that I, that I want to create, which is uh, go to the start of the project. So I'm going to do that right away. Transport and to project start. Okay, apply. Okay, so if I do a selection, try the buttons, they work. Uh, my other function, go to the start. Yes, it works. So we go back, Y, and we save as. Good. While we're there, we're going to select the path and do a copy. And we're going to hit record, apply. And once the file is created, we can go into the folder itself. And on the file, you're going to right click properties and we're going to change the attribute read only, select read only, apply it. OK. And this file can be copied in the X5 folder. So we go into Magix, X5, control panel, paste. Okay. Okay, and we can close. So the attribute read-only will block X5 from uh, changing the file and removing the functions that we selected. So we go back into X5, same project. Again, if we select, try the, the button, they don't work. Hit Y and we're gonna create a new controller again, add new, but then uh, we're going to choose our new file. So it's very important to choose a name that you will be able to pinpoint here and select the input and output. 
apply okay let's try our buttons they work let's try go to the start it works so let's uh, close the software again Don't save we go back same file try again the buttons yes they work and go to the start yes it works i tried to go into pro x5 save a new file and change the properties and put it at read only but it did not work uh, as soon as i close the software and go back in uh, the changes that i made to the customization is gone maybe it's because i have x4 and x5 at the same time uh, let me know as i said earlier i hope that you're not living that same problem uh, a lot of you may not have any external controller anyway uh, but uh, if you do please put your comments explain what happens to you if you found a, a solution of course any questions about audio recording uh, video and photography uh, put them in the comments i hope you like this video if you did please click on like consider subscribing hit the bell to get notifications and share my videos it's always a great help